my phone is melting um, because we are still waiting for that aircon to be fixed apparently next week which is a blessing because I kid you not I had to um, I didn't have to but I wanted to obviously get more light in here so I pulled up the curtains uh, or the blinds I should say to have a little bit more light and instantly oh it's so nice and warm and then I thought, I wonder how many degrees it is because literally summer has arrived overnight on the Gold Coast in Australia. And yeah, I, it's 12.30, our time, local time, it is 34 degrees. Yes, that is hot. And I it should be out there, but actually I will be by the pool a little bit later. Um, because that's just how the cookie crumbles. It's the flexibility that you have in your business. And so I actually am at this point sharing a couple of live streams. Um, then I'm going to follow up with a couple of people, getting them all ready um, to rock in Boss Queen Dynasty. I've got a couple of posts I've really been wanting to get out. One's actually been with me last yesterday and I for some reason didn't even get to it um, and a couple of bits and pieces as you do and then it's off to a bit of a couple of afternoon drinks by the pool and hopefully not in 34 degrees even though I checked it's going to be 33 degrees this afternoon so anyway now let me as always let me just share this really briefly with the group I hope you are obviously more than amazing it is Friday it's an awesome 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 day to not only talk about you know the milestones and how far you've come this week oh let me copy this in what's going on but also i wanted to have a slightly different conversation with you and i will do once i share this yep in a couple of groups so who do we have here oh hello lovely Lovely, lovely, lovely. That is actually a name, which is really nice. I like the word lovely. Okay, so. Come on, what's going on? Is my laptop literally too hot to bother? Let's see. Okay, all right. So, let's celebrate together today by reminding yourself why you started this business. And there's a couple of things I want to touch on now. Obviously, if you, I, I, I'd like to think that you stay on track with Boss Queen TV. I don't expect it, but I, I should maybe, if I'm being really cheeky. But why would you not watch it every day during the week? It's like literally 10, 15 minutes, sometimes 20, depending on how much of a, um, a tantrum I go on. Um, but basically, we had really cool conversation this week, and I, I don't want to go through all of that again because otherwise I will go on a tantrum. And yesterday, I just showed you that how important it is to listen to your soul, to really, um, you know, say yes to your soul, no matter uh, what it wants. Sometimes it wants solitude, um, which really was what I experienced yesterday. And sometimes it really nudges you to step outside your comfort zone. Either way though, in order to get to your desires, you have to say yes to your soul and you cannot be led by fear. And so with that in mind, I thought, oh, how can I give you, you know, another spin on this today? How can we really talk about, oh, hello. Hey, lovely. Oh, I get so excited to see your name. <laughs> How can I give you this another spin today? And I thought, well, as I was lying by the pool yesterday and I got reminded, like, why did we start our business? And I thought, oh, let's, let's, let's have a conversation about this real briefly because I felt like, oh, there's a couple of things I want to say. So number one, why did you start your business? Like, obviously understand that Sometimes we're in that process where we just take the steps every day. You know, we're creating the content, the posts, we're selling the offers. You know, we're, 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 we're showing up, we're speaking our truth. And sometimes we have this little bit of a delay of, you know, results catching up and we understand like it's energy before strategy and do all the work. And are you really doing all the work? Like, are you really doing all the work? Um, and are you doing the work in a way that feels so fucking amazing? And you know, I get it. Sometimes, you know, you know, I, I get it. Sometimes I'm tired and like, ah, oh, 
you know, oh my God, I am tired. Like this week, I've been particularly tired. I don't know if it's the whole Mercury retrograde, whether it's my dad in hospital and kind of keeping up with, you know, the, the post-surgery and, and, and all of the findings. I don't know, but technically, like, technically, no, legit, like, legit, honestly, I've been pretty tired up and down. And so it's been a real beautiful lesson this week to navigate again through, well... Well, it's one thing to like trust soul and kick back and release and receive. And then there's this other part where it's like, well, but how do you want to feel when your head hits the pillow tonight? Because do you want to make progress or do you want to say you're just going to like stay in the flow? And you can stay in the flow and you still can do the things that matter. And I guess that this week has been such a great reminder. I have not nowhere near really fallen back into my old identity which is great and i'm very proud and this is why i'm sharing this because i want you to see that it is possible it is possible to to do less to receive more but at the same time don't use any fucking excuses of why you're not doing the real do you know i get sometimes we're tired but how many times right are you tired you go to the gym you have an amazing workout and you feel so good afterwards. And you're like, yes, I'm glad I did. Business is no different. Sometimes it's literally just sitting your ass in the chair, pressing play, boom, go live. Share your soul. Put your heart out there. Open your mouth and trust whatever comes out is exactly what you need to say. Sometimes it's literally open that laptop, start writing, or grab your journal. And sometimes we're resisted even more and you're like, oh, I can't even be fucked to whatever. Do it. Because sometimes it is that you, you just got to rise above it all if you want to see the results. Yet at the same time, it is not about doing the things like, all right, I've got to like do 20,000 things on my list every day. If I don't do the 20,000 thing, things on my list every day, then I will not get paid. That's not the right energy. So I guess that you know, and I hope that you know the difference, and because it is such a delicate little dance, it really is. And, and so with that in mind, like ask yourself two things, maybe three things, two things. Why did you start your business originally? And I'd say, I mean, if I ask myself why, the first thing that comes up is freedom. Because I want to be free to do the things that I want to do with who, when, how, on my terms. I love living a life completely and entirely on Sabrina time. My rules. It's how I love to live my life. It's going to be fun when I have kids, isn't it? But I believe even then you get to still create your own rules. Because even how you raise your children, you have your own rules. Partnership, business. It's no different. It just takes a lot of courage to step away from mainstream, by the way. But anyhow, freedom. Because I love fun. And, and, and I guess, and because I love helping people. And because I want to be the best version that I can be and also live the best life available to me. So, if I know that, here's something really cool. You don't need to achieve anything in your business in order to feel free. In order to feel love in order to feel joy, in order to feel gratitude. So there's nothing you actually have to do to feel the feelings. You can do the work and already feel free. You can already create ways in your life that makes you feel fucking abundant without them costing an arm and a leg, okay? So get into the feeling first. Which, that if we eliminate, eliminate this, which kind of is probably not as easily done as said, but I can help you with that, so reach out please if you'd like to, if that calls you. Then the other side is because you want to, you know, live your best life, um, become the best version and helping people. And so the two things that come then to my mind is you want to help people and you want to make money so that you get to live your best life. And if anyone says you don't need money to live your best life, ah, okay, I'm just going to leave that there. I am not here to judge on anyone or tread on anyone's toes, but for me, in order to live my best life where I truly have the choices and the options to do as I truly desire, money is great. And if anyone thinks differently, that just show, goes to show that you've got a very limited uh, view and perspective on money, okay? So that then means 
if we know we can already do the do to feel amazing, to feel joy and peace and love and gratitude and, and, and free, then really the conversation becomes, I know that you started your business, become the best version and live your best life, help as many people as you can, right? So then tell me two things. Are you making money in your business and are you helping people? Are you making enough money in your business? Are you helping enough people? Those two usually are correlated. If you're not helping enough people, needless to say, you may not actually make the money that you want or you're capping yourself, you're limiting yourself. So, kind of makes sense, right? Thank you for that, thank you. So, then my question comes, okay, it's Friday. Okay, it's Friday. And if some people might think, oh, well, you know, over the weekend we get to completely do nothing. I'm like, well, I don't know. Is that how you want to work? Is that how you perceive your life? Do you feel like that you just want to work in your business five days a week and then do nothing for the weekend? Well, then you might as well just have a job. Because the thing is, if you truly, 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 truly live what you preach, you every day you get to help people, every day you get to make money. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be on your laptop or in front of the camera 24 seven. You can obviously systemize, leverage, and set things up in your business. But at the end of the day, your heart, your soul wants to be helping people every day and wants to be making money every day. And that is the, the, really the thought that I want to share with you today on a Friday Arvo, you know, afternoon where you, you know, you would think about, right, oh, what's the plan? And that doesn't mean you don't get to have fun. Um Gottes Willen, sagt man in Deutsch, of German. Oh my, like, uh, no, holy smokes, right? You get to have it all, you get to be it all, you get to do it all. It's all about prioritizing and making sure that you work efficiently, making work that you prioritize. You just gotta figure out how, like what the rules are for you. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if you truly care about becoming the best version, then you also do that on a Saturday and on a Sunday. You're taking time for yourself to work on yourself, whether it's mentally, emotionally, whether it's meditating, whether it's a yoga class, whether it's going for a walk, whether it's going dancing, whether it's hitting the gym, whether it's actually sleeping in and giving your body some rest, whether it's reading a book, like you will do this every day every day, not Monday to Friday, not eight to five. And no, that does not mean you have to only not think about work when you sleep, because apparently I work a lot, but I feel like I don't actually work that much. It's always in the eye of the beholder, what they see and how it fits in for them. And it's all cool because everyone's got their own thing and everyone's got their own views and perception. It's all fine. It's just really understanding your job doesn't stop on a Friday afternoon. It's not like, it's not, you're not, you don't clock off and then go, right, oh, that's it. Unless you have things set up in your business. So are you helping people every day? Are you making money every day? That needs to be the absolute thought on your mind today. And every day, are you helping people every day? And are you making money every day? Because at the end of the day, you want to be helping people, getting them results, and you want to get divinely paid for it because you deserve to be divinely compensating for sharing your gift. But are you doing that or are you just fucking around? Are you keeping busy? Are you doing things that are not actually going out there and helping people? That's the thought of the day. Are you fucking helping people? Yes or no? If you're not, then get out there and do what you need to do. And I don't care if it's a Friday evening or a Saturday morning or a sacred Sunday. Now again, I'm not saying you need to be working 24 hours a day, but let's be honest, stop the bullshit of the limitation and the illusions and the excuses that you cannot do certain things because it's Friday afternoon. No one buys on a Sunday. That is so not true. Who says that no one gives money, no one spends money on a Sunday or no one buys something on a Sunday? No one's going to buy your program on a Sunday. Do you know how many people are out there on a Sunday spending money on lunches and dinners and drinks and going shopping? So if they are, they are spending money. They are spending money. On a Friday, people are spending money. I'm talking to people right now, they're spending money. So just, just let's not get carried away. It's just something that really, really, really speaks to me and that's why I really wanna share that with you as we go into the weekend to ask yourself every day. At the end of the day, you're in business because your, your, business, your business needs to make money. You wanna make money, you wanna help people, and you, you do this in a way that allows you to become the best version of yourself 
to live your best life. And in order to do that, you gotta work on yourself and you gotta work your magic. You gotta share your art, you gotta put yourself out there, you gotta do the do to help people and then be divinely compensated. End of story, keep it simple people, keep it simple. Absolutely simple, but it has to be an everyday thing. You can do it like literally on Sunday, I did all of that by 9.30. Coached my clients, went to the gym, meditated, journal, con created content like all of that and still go out and live your day so don't talk to me about that you don't have time that you it, the thing is you don't know maybe how you don't know how to prioritize yourself or you don't know how to really get yourself into that mindset which you then need to reach out to me and i can certainly help you okay so that's the thought i would love to hear what you think about that my little rant on a friday as my phone is like steaming up i can see the 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 actual phone has like the lightness has gone down because i'm pretty sure yeah, phone's hot ass. Okay, so with that in mind, questions, feedback, conversation, thoughts on that, let's have them. Let's share the thoughts, let's have conversations over in my Facebook group or of course here in the comments. Also know Friday means it's promotion day. You get to share your magic. Put yourself out there. I mean, how easy is it? Share with us what you've got going on, free, paid, whatever. Claim it, name it, state it. Sell yourself, people. Come on, man. It's over in my group. Use that space to do so. And of course, Boss Queen Dynasty, if you're finally, you know, the penny has dropped and you realize I need to be helping people every day, making money every day, so I get to live my best life, whilst understanding I get to be the best version of myself. And so it needs to be better structures, better strategies, better systems, or you need to know how to be more productive, or you need to know how to get into that mindset of right showing up every day, or get into the energy of receiving every day. Oh, she's hot. We've got some beautiful people here on the pool. Or get into the energy of receiving every day because it's your natural state. These are the things I'm teaching in Boss Queen Dynasty, okay? Boss Queen Dynasty is different because it is really the whole experience of stepping into the identity, the embodiment piece, the chakra alignment, the activation, the wealth activations, the releasing of the bullshit story so you can step into the person who becomes the magnet for a six-figure online empire backed with, of course, the right mindset and the practices in your day right, day-to-day -day life, as well as the right strategy to suit you. And if that is you, I'm calling you in right now, and I'm calling you to take uh, action. Message me, I was gonna say, write me a note. <laughs> write me a note on your phone or on your laptop, okay? Write me a note, a little love note, because I just dropped the mass, the biggest mass, the biggest massive love note onto you, all right? Because we begin on Monday, don't be the person that gets it to 2020 in January and starts then thinking about, oh, that's right, goals, aspirations, and then how do I get there? And then realize, oh, fuck, I've got these internal demons and this stuff still coming up. Why don't you just deal with it now, still get to enjoy Christmas, still get to actually reap the rewards, aka the money, helping people every day, and then also open 2020 Boom, floodgates are open. You are ready to leap massive momentum. It's gonna be fucking divine. Like seriously, honestly, hand on my heart, divine. So if that is you, message me. I will, I've got a little audio you can listen to and get the feeling of whether that's a hell yes or no. Complete overview, exactly what's in store, what you walk away with, the results you can expect, and all the goodness. So the bonuses, all of that. So let me know if that is you. Apart from that, remember, Go through the questions that I asked you today. Be very honest with yourself. And of course, apart from that, you get to share your milestones and let's celebrate you. Let's celebrate today while you are in business. I love you so much. I honestly just want you to exactly have all the things you truly desire and I will do my part to make that happen with you and for you. And of course, remember in order to manifest the magic, you've got to become the magic yourself first. And the good news is, that permission to be, do, and have it all on your own terms has already been granted.